Relax. It's ASMR. Hello everyone. Today's video is just going to be a quick unboxing. Well, it may be quick. I'm anxious to see what's inside of here, but I don't want to rush it too much. I have seen some people who do unboxings on YouTube and the unboxing part lasts of all of about five seconds. It is not what I would consider to be an unboxing. I guess technically it is, but um, part of the joy of getting a new product or something like that is the act of unwrapping it and revealing it and kind of savoring that moment that will never be again. So, I think I've talked about that before in my unboxings. I'm a big fan of anticipation, as long as it's not too long. So this is a robotic vacuum. Our Dyson is showing its age. It needs some help around the house. It's about 11 years old and it still has plenty of suction. It's just got some electrical problems with the carpet. So we're still going to keep it around and use it, but not as much. Hopefully this is going to take up some of the workload of keeping the house vacuum. And since that primarily is a job that falls to me, I am particularly excited about this. So this says up, so I assume that we cut this part off first. So I'm a little off camera here. This is a large box, but hopefully it will have a slightly smaller box inside. Gonna reach across here. There we go. Tilt it up this way. Uh -huh. There's a handle. Perfect. by now you know that there is the letter D and the number 7 involved. Neato. Bot vac connected. Okay. This will probably go off screen for just a little bit. I'm going to drop the box that was around it. And try not to make too big of a noise. Okay, now I'm beside you. Okay. So this is the Nido BotVac Connected D7. Smart, powerful, connected robot vacuum. Unbeatable, updatable to Nido floor planner, advanced mapping and cleaning. So the one thing I liked about this is that it uses a laser in this little housing here to run around and make a map 
of your floor plan by itself. And then it memorizes that. And as long as you don't move the base station, it will be able to theoretically find its way around your home. There was a few people who had problems with it online, but for the most part, it seemed to work pretty well. So, Spin Flow Power Queen Potent Suction and Precision Brush leaves floors immaculately clean. Best for pets and allergens. Laser Smart Navigation Smart mapping for thorough, methodical, more efficient clean includes extra care navigation. So the other thing I liked is that this uses lasers to find its way around objects. It doesn't find its way around by bumping into things. Not that I mind that too much, but I can imagine that would get annoying to have something just bumping around in a corner or something like that. D-shaped with Corner Clever Tech gets dirt where it hides, close to walls, and deep into corners. So I like that it has a flat side that can go right up against a wall. It has a brush that extends all the way across. It works with iPhone and Android, and it works on all different types of floors. So that is the kind of gist of it all and you can draw on the app little virtual walls to control where it goes and where it doesn't go instead of having to use beacons and magnetic strips and stuff like that so it takes a little while to set up it has to run itself around House and map the floor. Okay. But once it's set up, it seems to work pretty well. Okay. This is not the smoothest unboxing ever done. We'll start with the paperwork. It says, say hello to Nito. We're here to help. If you have any trouble with your Nito bot vac, please give us a call before you do anything else. Check Wi-Fi. Stay up to date. Prep the house. So pick up items that can become tangled, such as cables, socks, and shoelaces. Tuck fringes under rugs. And has a QR code to get the latest version of the app. Very nice. There's a quick start guide about how to set everything up in several languages, and then the full-on manual, which I will be reading later on tonight. So I'm going to put these to the side for now. There we go. Now, let's go back in. Lots of cardboard. This is cardboard with a kind of foam glued to it. That's kind of neat. And then we have a box of utilities or accessories. There we go. I can lean that back like that. It's almost in the shot. Okay. I'm trying. So, 
Let's lift this out. It's got a nice weight to it. I'm going to set it down over here. You can tell I'm, I shoot in a very cramped studio. Normally, if it's just a box of snacks, it's not a big deal. But... Something this big, it becomes quite apparent that I can run out of space very quickly. Okay, now, I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm going to close and get rid of this box. Make things a little more manageable. the accessories first. It says Nito Genuine. I imagine this is primarily the base station. There's a filter, extra filter. That's very nice. Something in a little paper envelope. Aha. Uh -huh. This is for cleaning the roller when it gets hair and such tangled in it. There's a little blade here to cut the hair and remove it. I think all vacuums should come with that. Because there are people with long hair in my house. I used to be one of them, but no more. Okay. And then this comes out. Put that over there. And we do have some Thick magnetic strips. I guess this is if you want to really make sure it doesn't go somewhere. Kind of a backup plan. And then finally, we have the base station with its cord. these soft plastic bags with a very nice crinkly sound to them. Here's a packet of silicone taped to the inside. Off. 
like a little kid at Christmas. I have more enjoyment out of the packaging than I do out of the actual product, especially when it comes to an ASMR video. And we have a twist tie. They don't make very much noise. Pretty silent. And then this plugs in to here. in like that. And then you can see you can thread it around depending on how much cord you need. You can go this way or you can go this way, I assume. We're just going to do this for now. If I need to reel it in more, I will. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it yet. So, that'll be good for now. Sorry about that. And then it has this wonderful plastic on it. Let's see here. It's got like an iridescent blue sheen to it. Put that away. And there's the base station. It's pretty simple. It has just two spring-loaded bumpers that help make contact and charge the vacuum. I don't see any other buttons. Nice and simple. So now let's get to the main attraction. Put all this to the side. We've got the same soft, crinkly plastic bag on it. I hear a button clicking somewhere. I 
I do have a collection of plastic bags somewhere that I keep. I'm going to bring back one of these days. Okay. So here is the vacuum. Ooh, it's a very nice clicky. I guess it's a stopgap, just in case it runs into anything it didn't see. Maybe something really low to the ground and it can bump into it. Okay, and we have one little piece here. It gave up too easily. So I imagine this will need to be charged. before it can do anything. Now on the underside, we have two chunky wheels that have their own clicky little Can you hear that? This helps it get up and down off of carpet and get itself unstuck. And then here's what I really liked. It has a beater bar that goes all the way across, or nearly all the way across, this flat end of the vacuum. And it has one of these little whisk rotating brushes here. I'm not a huge fan of those. It was not a big selling point for me. I heard a lot that they just kind of sometimes flip the dirt around um, instead of like scooping it up or whatever it's supposed to do. So then it has two smaller rollers here on the back, just passive rollers, and then two small ones up here. It has a filter in the back. I'll have to read about how to take that off. And then here is the dust bin. It catches all of the dirt. And I liked that it is fairly large for a robotic vacuum. That was the other criteria that I had. And I think this is about two cups, or a little over two cups worth of dirt. So it has a little label in there about replacement parts. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple as far as the interface goes. Most of it is done through the app. I want to close that, I think it might make a very loud popping sound. So now I can go about getting this charged, getting it set up, and having it run around the house and clean up. So I've had my eye on robotic vacuums for a while, kind of ever since they've actually been a thing and been very curious about them, but I think now the technology is at a place where it can do what I want it to do. It's not just mindlessly bumping around my house, randomly vacuuming some things up. It's actually got some processing power and the ability to see the 
other one I was looking at was a Samsung, and it actually used cameras to take pictures of like the ceiling and the walls. And that was pretty cool. I liked that navigational feature, but it was a little bit more iffy when it came to actually cleaning, which is why you buy it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you listened to my last video, I recorded it just before we had a storm, a hurricane come through. And it definitely hit, definitely felt it, definitely had some trees down, and some people lost power for quite a while. I was out of power for a little bit. But it was not a disaster, it was just an inconvenience. So, that was very good. Unlike, unfortunately, the people in Bahama, which had it far, far worse. So, my thoughts are with them. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this slow unboxing. And let me know if you are interested in an update on this. I can't imagine that it would be very much of an ASMR video to actually hear it running. It is a rug vacuum cleaner with a beater bar in it, so it does make noise. So this is not something you could have running around your house at night cleaning unless it was a completely different part of the house. So please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks.